It's a great day, isn't it, Buboy? Indeed it is, Pipai. And so I love the fresh air here in the fields. That's correct, Buboy. But have you ever wondered why we don't run out of oxygen to breathe? Hmm, that's a good question. And I'd like to find out the answer to that. Like most living things, you need oxygen to survive. The atmosphere, which is 20% oxygen, supplies you and other air-breathing organisms with this vital gas. Oxygen from the atmosphere that has dissolved water is breathed by fish and other aquatic organisms. Clearly, living things would have used up the available oxygen supply in the atmosphere millions of years ago if something did not return the oxygen to the air. But what could that something be? When you inhale, you take in oxygen. When you exhale, you release the waste gas carbon dioxide. If something uses carbon dioxide and releases oxygen, it would balance your use of oxygen. If we are the producers of carbon dioxide, what then produces oxygen? Green plants and certain microorganisms produce oxygen. These producers use carbon dioxide gas, water, and the energy of sunlight to make carbon-containing compounds that are often referred to as food. I know that! It's a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process that takes place in green plants. It takes place during daytime because of sunlight. Light enables the chlorophyll in the plants, especially in the leaf, Combine the water and the carbon dioxide to produce sugar and oxygen. Sugar is changed into starch and stored in leaves, stems, fruits, seeds, and roots. Oh, so plants don't need oxygen? Oxygen is considered waste products of plants. Since oxygen is not needed by plants, they give them off. It is an important product of photosynthesis. This is given off by plants through their breathing organ called stomata. So, while carbon dioxide, which we produce, is needed by plants, humans like us need oxygen, which, on the other hand, plants produce. And animals, too. Humans and animals eat foods containing protein, fats, and carbohydrates. These nutrients contain carbon. The waste product is carbon dioxide. So, if plants throw off oxygen as waste, humans and animals produce carbon dioxide as waste. Wow! Now we understand! Carbon dioxide passes from the cells and carries by the blood to the lungs. It is expelled into the air when we exhale. It is then that green plants absorb it again. Carbon dioxide and oxygen are returned to the air and used over and over again by plants, humans, and animals. This continuous exchange of gases between plants, humans, and animals is called as oxygen-carbon dioxide cycle. Right, it's a cycle because it's a continuous process. That answers the question why we don't run out of air to breathe. 